Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn about Fast API Swagger integration tutorial. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So in the last video, we have already discussed the hello world part, right? So how to access the Swagger UI? It's by default. You don't need to do anything. Fast API uses Swagger UI to produce this documentation. The browser will display this one. So you have to mention this docs. Okay, so just copy this docs. And here we go with this one and just enter the docs over here. Okay, here we go with the Swagger API. So here you can see that we have the only the get route with the message hello world. If I just open it here, you can see that try it, try it out, execute. And here you can see that message is hello world. Okay, so you don't need to do any kind of stuff for the integration for the swagger in the fast API. It's pre-built. Okay, the next one, disable the syntax. Suppose I want to do some of the um, changes with the, uh, like the UI. So what you can do, configure swagger UI. So disable the syntax highlight. So basically you can see there's a syntax highlight. How to remove that one? So you just need to just copy this and make the swagger UI parameter syntax highlight to be false. Okay, just copy this and uh, after you have declared this one, where we go. Okay, so just add this one. If we save this and automatically just reload this one, highlighter is gone. Try it out, execute. Here you can see that there is no highlighter. Next one, you can configure change the theme. So you can syntax highlight theme. You can make mention the theme over here. Just copy and it will change the theme. Okay, so this is how you can change the themes also like this. Save it. Try to go over here and here you can see that the theme is changed. Okay, so here you can see right. Try it out. Execute here. You can see that the color is changed. Okay, so this is the parameters that you can configure in the fast API swagger. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.